Hi, Dr. Eric Westman here with another episode of Learn with Dr. Westman. This episode is entitled, Is the Sugar in Fruit Bad? Please check out the description below for my latest free handout for you on this is probably one of the most common questions I get uh, when people hear about a low carb or, or keto diet. They, they have certain ideas in their head about what it is, what it isn't. And I think the most surprising thing for people who are learning this for the first time is that fruit has sugar in it. And even though, you know, fruit is, is sweet and, and the sweetness is from sugar, it, it, Fruit has been touted for so long to be good for you, it, 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 you know, that it just doesn't click for most people that fruit has sugar in it. And, um, and then even fruit juice is even a, a refined source of sugar as well. So it's surprising for a lot of people to hear in the earliest phase of a keto diet, if you're doing a prescription strength keto diet, there is no fruit allowed. And then the next question will be, well, you know, what about berries? And I'll say, you know, ber berries are just small fruits. So no, no berries either. And the reason for that is that even the, the fruit that's in a, an apple or a banana or a peach uh, or a, a, a bunch of grapes will raise the blood glucose enough so that it elicits a insulin response in just about everyone. So if you're trying to do a prescription strength keto diet, meaning you're trying to reverse diabetes, reverse obesity, high blood pressure, PCOS, heartburn, all uh, the list goes on and on. If you want to get into ketosis is the other way to say it. If you want to become a maximal fat burning machine, that's another way to say it then you don't want to have fruit or berries at all at the beginning. Now, if uh, someone is, is that's, if that's the, the deal breaker, I will introduce the 20 gram total carb rule, you know, in quotations. If you can stay under 20 total carbs for the day, not the meal, but the day, you will probably be in ketosis and be in that maximal fat burning and diabetes reversing mode. So I will instruct people to use things like Google or, or calorie counters and carb counters and things like that. And you can actually figure out how many carbs are in a cup of fruit. Go ahead, look it up. And, and you know, it's not private information that only I have. The sad or harsh reality is that an apple, for example, has 20 grams of carbs, total carbs, in one piece of fruit. So what we're facing here is a serving size, 20 grams is a lot if you're trying to stay under 20 for the whole day. And, and uh, so that's why we say no fruit. But um, you know, another thing you can do is um, take your fist, compare it to a measuring cup. You'll see it's just about the size of a measuring cup. So if you have a cup, an apple uh, this size and just 20 grams, if you take half an apple, so that's half the cup, half a cup of an apple or, or banana, or but they're almost the same, um, depending even on how ripe they are. They, they, you can't know exactly how many carbs are in something. This is one of the fallacies of the apps that are out there. Some, someone comes in saying, well, I'm having 22.2 grams of carbs a day. I mean, no, you're not. You can't be that precise because even though the app tells you that, the data that go in and the calculation can't be perfect because of the variability of the size of the fruit and the ripeness, etc. But so a quarter cup of fruit, so that would be one knuckle. And I think I borrowed this from the, the uh, fingerfuls of bourbon drinkers who I've met through the years. One knuckle is a quarter cup. So a quarter cup, meaning a fourth of the total of 20, one, 20 divided by four is going to be five grams of carbs, sugar, in a quarter cup of an apple or a peach or a banana. Uh, I'm lumping them all together. There might be a little variation there, but to remind yourself how little a quarter cup 
will be. And so if, if, uh, if no fruit is not an option, although the cravings go away remarkably fast in just a day or two, uh, the cravings for, for all of these carbs will go away. But a quarter cup of the fruit would have five grams, total grams. Remember, we use total grams, not net grams, as the calculation. And you'll probably stay in ketosis. You know, but uh, most people can't stay to a quarter cup of the fruit. And so they say, okay, well, it's not even worth it. Um, now, some products like these uh, yogurt or flavored yo yogurt-like products, some of them have little pieces of fruit in there chopped up. So you don't even you don't get nearly the whole piece of fruit in there, and that's why some of these products can be down to three or four or five grams of total carbs for that one container, and that might be a way to get some fruit. Uh, so you know, fruit the sugar in fruit is not bad. It, the The amount that you get is what matters, and, and what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, and I just want to say I don't really overcomplicate things. It's, it's just not my style. I need to communicate to people of all walks of life and all, all educational levels. So I don't even I don't even separate out and explain that fruit actually has sucrose and fructose and, and sucrose is glucose and fructose. And, and, and so don't even go down that rabbit hole. A carb is a carb and you're keeping them super low so your body can burn its own fat. Um, so if you're trying to burn your body fat maximally, you have to burn through all the alcohol and all the carbs before your body's going to give up its own fat or contribute the fat. So you want to keep the carbs super low, including the fruit and berries. Now, let's say you're, you're, you, you don't have to be that strict. And in our latest book, End Your Carb Confusion, we kind of sort you into three different categories as best we can based on clinical circumstances, based on your situation. So that you might fit into a category we call phase one, phase two, phase three. Phase one being the strictest. You might fall into the category of phase two, where you could have more carbs for the day, including small amounts of fruit and berries. Um, and then to accommodate the, the natural exercisers who, uh, you know, just it seems like they keep eating and they just keep burning it up. They don't store it on their body as fat. These folks can eat up to 150 grams of carbs per day and still be healthy and not gain weight. Uh, they might not have weight to lose. So this accommodates, uh, our book talks about three different carb levels and your carb confusion. Check it out if you don't know what level that you would be in. And then you would be able to have fruit, you know, in moderation in these other phases because your metabolism is such that you're going to be burning it and um, the amount doesn't have to be so restricted. Uh, so, you know, uh, fruit is not bad. It, it's just, it shouldn't be the first thing you think about for nutrition. Really, basic nutrition starts with protein. Our bodies have ma are made of protein, not fruit. <laughs> so you, you want to replenish your body's protein stores, we think every day, with, with meat, poultry, fish, and shellfish, and eggs, and that's the basis of really any uh, good nutritional program that, that includes meat products, meat, poultry, fish, and shellfish, and eggs. And then you can run your body on sugar. If you eat sugar, your body has to burn that sugar first. So if you're trying to run your body on fat, meaning your own body fat, cut the sugars out, keep them super low, and your body will burn fat automatically. So that's why the fruit needs to be strictly limited if you're doing a maximal keto diet. But you may be surprised to find out that you don't have to do it. And, and then um, I explained that I, you don't have to worry about whether, you know, can I never have fruit again? You know, I'm, I'm teaching you a method to get to a goal and then you can decide what to do then. Now, if you go back to the way you were eating before, it's just a matter of time that you go back to where you were. So you'll learn some things along the way, including that fruit, you know, is an every now and then treat for most people who have to be super strict uh, uh, in monitoring their carbs, not a daily sort of, I mean, hourly sort of thing. Uh, and uh, just dropping the fruit has helped uh, that and dropping sugar in the drinks has helped many of my patients lose weight or accomplish diabetes control 
even without doing a keto diet, although my preference is that you at least try the keto diet so you see what it feels like. I hope that's helpful. Please you know, ring the uh, uh, click like, ring the notification bell and, and all that. And uh, look down below in the description for my latest free guide. If this is a issue for you, check out at the Adapt Your Life Academy, the upcoming sugar and food addiction course. It's a wonderful course taught by an addiction expert in Canada, Dr. Vera Tarman, and I really endorse this course to help you with strategies to overcome uh, sugar and food addiction. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and check out adapterlifeacademy.com.